there were many, many items, many small items, and it kind of really lacked a cohesive focal point. So I think we could make some recommendations going forward about how really showcase seasonal items in your retail at the store. A lot of science and research in um, retailing shows that the first 10, 20 feet inside a store, customers' eyes kind of look over the top of. And so one thing you guys had here to begin with was something that I think is a real gem that you guys have about your shop, and that's your exclusive line of Cleveland photography. Right? So you got a TV screen, a table for catalogs and whatnot, um, a really a high profit item for you guys to be sell selling. And I think customers kind of looked over it. So one of the recommendations, move those items back to the back of the store where people have time to kind of absorb and, and see that. So the, a couple of things, changes we made here, um, have the, the table, have catalogs for customers to, to look through, but also showcase Linda's photography and mount it in different ways. Now, Dave, I know you work with a printer who came up with different solutions for you so you can tell customers the different choices they have versus canvas, um, printing, the mount, different mounting techniques and whatnot. So I think you'll be able to sell a lot more. The first time in the shop, that w red painted wall was, came right down the center, of the, the center of the store. One thing I found that to be a real barrier um, to the sales and design counter, it was a real obstacle visually and also stop people from getting back there, because that's really like where you're making your money on the design counter. So removing that, opening up the store, um, really gives it a light, airy feeling. It allows people to look at everything you've got in here. And I think it was a big, big dramatic change. Yeah, it's really made quite yeah. a difference. Uh, now when people walk, when customers walk in the door, we can see them and they can see us right away. We used to play this game of peekaboo back and forth uh, on the other side of the wall. So uh, it has really opened it up a lot, and we're feeling very comfortable with it. Excellent. Yeah. Jewelry. You guys have a lot of jewelry items in the shop, too, as well. Yeah. And those were kind of all clustered together in a cabinet up, kind of up front, which is probably a security issue. You know, we want to keep an eye on those kind of small, um, small items. Um, and one thing I love about the idea of moving them back to the back of the store near the design counter, it allows people to stop and linger and look a little longer as you're going through the design process with selecting custom framing. Then it gives the customer a chance to, to really look over those items. So I think it was a really smart move. One of the greatest changes I think you guys made was this jewelry display. Because after all, even though you carry gift items, you're still a frame shop, and that's where you make the most money. And I love this idea of taking old picture frame molding, right, that you've had in the back, add batting and, and fabric wrap to display the jewelry on. I think it's great. It's a great way to transition, and that's still what you're all about. I think the display looks terrific, having the mirrors down here, mixing a little bit of the fact that you do custom framed mirrors in with it. I think it's a fantastic display. Love this. What do you guys think? Yeah, it really turned out wonderful. I mean, uh, it's a beautiful way to display the jewelry. It's really interesting. I think we'll see a lot of comments. Oh, I bet you will. Yeah. Bet you will. Love it. Yeah. One thing I, I love about the change is really being thoughtful about how like items are grouped together. Because I think visually it makes a much, much stronger impact for shoppers as they're coming in. So one thing we did when we were kind of curating these, these walls or these little vignettes we were talking about doing, we've added the, your, um, moved your glass cabinets with a brightly colored glass on either side that visually kind of keeps your eye contained in this particular area, and then selected artwork with colors that balance. And I think the impact is really, really a good, a good mix. So that was a great change. We also took um, some local artists and put their collections together where before it was kind of spread out. Um, and by adding um, information about the artist as well, it engages customers and it gives them a chance um, to learn a little bit about the artist. It also becomes a talking point for shoppers when they're coming in that you can start asking them questions about what they like about the art and if they've heard of the, that artist before. So it's a great conversation starter. The laminate that was on your storage counters, your design counter, was that burl wood, right? Visually, just really distracting. It would be hard to get customers to really visualize um, what the artwork's going to look like. So just painting these was a great idea. 
So tell me how you did it. It was really inexpensive fix, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, Lowe's or Home Depot, they sell countertop paint. Uh, so we went and picked up some of that and we just rolled it right on two coats and it was done. Great. Yeah. And it matches the gray paint, matches the great walls. So visually, your eye doesn't even notice those things. So all it does is showcase the great framing you guys do. So I think it's a great, great change. The other thing, if you remember, was how you had your molding samples displayed, right? It was by collection, right. I assume, right? By vendor. vendor. And it was such a mismatch. I can't believe how difficult it must have been to find, you know, a gold frame when you have to look here and here and here. It looked like burl wood on the wall. <laughs> yeah. It was, a, it was a mess. It was a mess. So I love the changes you made. So it must make the sales process much, much easier. Yeah, even in just the week since we've uh, changed the moldings around, we've had a couple sales that really, I think, felt pretty efficient and, and quick. Excellent. So we're excited good, good. about that change.